everyone. Uh, I'm Hesin Kim, a professor at Georgia Tech. Uh, today, uh, we'll interview Amir uh, from Google Research Brain Team, and uh, he kindly agreed to give an uh, interview to us uh, for this advice for the student. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, my name is Amir. I have been at Google Research for four years. Um, after like uh, one year of AI residency, and now I'm a full time at Google Research Brain Team, and uh, working at the intersection of machine learning and computer architecture. Thank you. So the main focus of today's interview will be giving a little bit more advice or industry viewpoint uh, to the student. So uh, I'll ask a few questions. So the first question is, uh, oh, when do you look for students? What do you look for? Student. Like it could be an internship or it could be a full time position. So I will explain it based on my experience at Google Research. So actually, recently we have two form of internship. Uh, one kind of is kind of normal internship, and the other one is a student researcher. So generally, for research position, we are looking at um, when we are looking at internship, we are looking at uh, folks who have published at uh, kind of top venues course and uh, and during interviews usually what we look at is uh, they can kind of explain their ideas they can we can even brainstorm even, even in the interview session so those are very important uh, for uh, hiring a student um, but Google research actually recently started the program kind of a student research program which is kind of more, more for um, students at their earliest stages of their PhD I think for those cases Generally speaking, we don't expect people to have um, publication more in the sense that they can kind of articulate their ideas, they can describe their ideas, and so on and so forth. But again, for development, of course, it's going to be a different criteria, mostly coding, mostly um, kind of um, be able to solve algorithms, and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, for research, it's mostly about publication, ideas, and so on and so forth. So then how can uh, students prepare better? <laughs> I think that's that's a really good question. I, am, I think one way that I usually kind of, when I talk to kind of my friends or people who are applying for uh, positions in Google Research, I think basically they have to be able to explain their papers really well, to explain their ideas really well. That has more weight compared to kind of coding and lit code and all these normal things that people do. I think that's very important. I think one way that they can prepare really well, sit with their friends and try to have a discussion. I think that's really uh, important and a key to kind of um, uh, secure a position in, Google, in research, basically, I would say. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Uh, then, uh, what might be different uh, life or uh, studies between academia and industry? Yeah, that's a very good question. So. Um, I think my life after joining Google Research has not changed much compared to academia because I think our goal at, the, um, at our team basically is, of course, publishing research, coming up with ideas. Maybe it's just the way that it changed is just more responsibility in the sense that now I have to kind of writing design documents, trying to talk with different people in different teams to kind of initiate collaborations. Um, I think for me and the position that I have, it has not changed much. It's still it's publication, research. Um, one part that I think changed and it's a little bit different is if you want to have a growth in the company, it's very important to make sure that you can have impact on a product. I think um, generally speaking, like maybe when we are a student, it's just we come up with ideas, maybe we, yes, we care, but like maybe not as much as the industry about the, how we can impact product. But when we kind of in a, in a uh, companies, we usually have a close collaboration with product team to make sure that our ideas, our kind of thinking, our what we want to solve has a kind of a direct impact on the product, basically. I think that's the way that I see it different. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, publication, research, that's an undocumented it's main, it's a daily job of a researcher at Google Research, basically. 
This is more for the, your um, personal opinion rather than company. Mm -hmm. You can never present it. But uh, what what would you give advice for students who are just starting and thinking about doing an MLA for later? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a very good question. So I think. Um, Recently, actually, we had a kind of uh, workshop at Google with kind of some academia, and we discussed a lot about these things and how we can kind of make sure that we have a good collaboration with academia and also how we can influence the students when they want to do research. Um, I think one thing that is a key, I think, and it could help a lot, is I would say explore and understand what's what most academy or kind of companies are looking for. Like um, these days, I think especially in the ML domain, there is a lot of open source kind of code, open source uh, initiatives. And I think exploring those, uh, and those options and those kind of uh, uh, areas would help the students to come up with a kind of ideas for their own and understand what is the real problem that maybe ML people are trying to solve. Um, uh, I think there is also a risk here is that we don't want usually to follow when whatever everyone do, do, is doing that's also really important um, generally it happens I think it happened for me it happened for many students but we, we also want to make sure that our work differentiates from others and what everyone is doing I think um, there is no harm I mean both are good we want to kind of when there is a hot topic we want to kind of go into that area solve it and understand what's happening but also like try to kind of think out of the box and see what is the future what is in five years what's going to happen I think those are going to something that is really important for students and I think another thing is that attending at conferences and talking with industry people I think it's going to help um, to understand what is the real world problem how would students choose out like the research questions or projects? Mm -hmm. Especially in, in ML, it's really <laughs> crowded, but yes. still they're high demand. <laughs> yes, of course. I think I kind of explained it in the first question. Uh, the way that it's, I would look at it is just, I think internship is going to help a lot. Yes, um, especially if you have an internship with the research industry. I, I would say even product, I think it's, it's important because like, even when you do go to a product and um, internship, um, you understand what is the real problem. You understand what is important for the company, um, what they are trying to solve. And of course, that could have a kind of impact on your um, uh, research at the academia. Um, internship, attending conferences, talking with as many people as possible to form your ideas in a way that can have an impact. That's really, really helpful. Um, and I think I am I'm working at Google, so I, I think Starting in this student researcher program, I think well, it's really helped with the students at other area stage because generally speaking, they have not published before, they don't have a, too much experience, but they can have a kind of work with researcher, understand what is the problem, what the problem is, and come up with their own ideas, basically. Yep. I see. Uh, last question. Uh, how did you choose or or maybe it could be more in general. That how did students choose industry versus academia? Yeah, that's that's, that's a really <laughs> important question. Um, I think when I started my PhD program, I wanted to do academia, and I still have a kind of my heart is still there. Um, but um, I think for me, I was fortunate enough to kind of join a research um, kind of part of the company, and. Honestly, I don't see a huge difference. I still can work with people, publish research, and uh, it helps me to do what I want. Um, part, the part that is missing is just teaching. I like teaching, I like talking to people. Uh, I think that's the part that is missing uh, for me. But um, yeah, as long as I think, I think for people, as long as they are happy with the project that they're doing, I think it's really doesn't matter whether it's an academia or a kind of uh, research and for me I think I was again lucky enough to be in a position that I can do what I want to do and what I like to do. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.